I'll have the steak, Diane, and um, run me a piece of that red velvet cake and some um, extra bread, will you? Both the brown and the white. y'all I've been under the weather for the last little bit or so so I'm kind of dragging my way in for this one I've missed you all as always hey everybody I've missed you all as always I've been a little bit under the weather for the last week week and a half or so so I'm kind of dragging myself in here, but once again, I've seen something else on the internet that I just feel compelled to address. And this week, it's Cheesecake Factory related. So there's a viral clip that's been going around of a lady and a man who are going on their first date. And when they arrive at the restaurant, it is the Cheesecake Factory, and the lady refuses to get out of the car. And some controversy ensues about who's right and who's wrong in this situation. Is the Cheesecake Factory appropriate for a first date? This, that, and the other. So... I have thoughts. I'm just going to watch this and try to react to it as we go. And y'all, I really, really would like to hear your thoughts on this subject. So just go ahead, pull up the comments and, and be prepared to type away. All right, let's go. <laughs> uh, let me just get the door for you. Okay. Got me at the Cheesecake Factory, y'all. I ain't getting out this far. Yes. Uh, did you want me to open the door for you? Okay. Are you? You're recording me? Yeah. Yeah. This is the Cheesecake Factory. This is the Cheesecake Factory, y'all. What's the problem with that? This is a chain restaurant. Who takes someone that looks like this to a chain restaurant? So first of all, he pulls up to the restaurant. It's the Cheesecake Factory. Her attitude is rude and nasty, even though he seems to be genuinely gentlemanly coming around to open her door he's very polite he's not getting frustrated with her for for being rude and nasty and it's a chain restaurant eddie v's is a chain restaurant um let's see ruth's chris is a chain restaurant papa does a chain restaurant um these are all kind of bad examples. Fleming's, Fleming's Prime is a chain restaurant. There are a lot of really, really, I, well, yeah, relatively expensive restaurants that happen to be like nationwide chains. So miss me with that. Moving on. I'm talking about it. You want to talk oh, also, recording this man and this interaction, first of all, it screams, not only am I dissatisfied, I'm going to try to humiliate you for clout. But continue. Oh, yeah, I want to talk about it. Yeah. Come on, get up on in the car. Yeah, we're going to talk about it. Oh, okay. Okay. So, so yes. 
Let's talk about it. Let's talk you, about it. So you expect a man to go all out on the first date. Is that right? I mean, you're supposed to. Look at, I mean, expect, when you take out a beautiful woman <laughs> and you're courting her, because I, I get courted, so you're courting her, right? You're supposed to take care of her. You're and supposed to cover her. You're supposed to protect her, cherish her, treat her well, right? Yeah. And, and I, I agree. Not I, <sighs> First of all, there's so much. There's so much here. She keeps referencing her appearance, which is concerning to me. I'm not going to knock anybody down as I sit here in my head wrap and, um, yeah. But <laughs> your beauty should not be your main currency. Um, is that all that you can say that you have to offer that makes you worthy of courtship? I think every woman should be courted. That's that's the right thing to expect. But the fact that you're kind of framing this around what you think you look like is concerning. And keep in mind this is their first date this is their first date i went into this date as i expect uh with the expectations for myself to keep you safe mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. to respect you mm -hmm. uh to pay for your food of course pick you up of course mm -hmm. and just treat you like a grandma which i believe i have done i mean you yeah, and, you've been pretty nice but and then, cheesecake I you've been pretty nice but cheesecake factory that implies that she's factoring in where he took her as an indication of his character that's problematic to me on the other hand I have certain expectations for a girl I go out with on her first date I expect her to be respectful too I expect her to be cooperative mm -hmm. and, and at least, you know, uh, what did I do that wasn't cooperative? I mean, like, even like, uh, when we were walking to the car, uh, you wouldn't, uh, put your hand around my arm or anything like that, or pull my hand or anything like that. I mean, it's too early for that. Okay. Yeah, no, I, mean, I yeah. can respect that. I can respect that. Okay. When, uh, I got to your apartment to pick you up uh you just want to invite me in i can respect that too we're not again we're not there yet. okay and then but i mean i feel like i'm doing everything i'm supposed to do as a woman but i, I got mean, myself all made up wrong with the cheesecake factory right yes there's a lot wrong with Okay, I do agree, and this is just a rule of thumb for my younger sisters out there that are watching. No, I, I do agree with not being overly affectionate towards somebody you don't know or this is their first date. They obviously don't know each other that well at this point and you know not inviting somebody in quite frankly and this is just me forget the cheesecake factory i i whenever i was outside back when i was outside if i was going on a first date with somebody i would not let them pick me up from my house they had to meet me wherever we were going and i i personally advocate that especially if you are a young woman living alone, you don't want to let somebody that you are unfamiliar with, a strange man or whoever, know where you live for safety until you've established that you know who they are and you deem them safe, this, that, and the other. So talking about too soon, and quite frankly, I'm more of a proponent that a first date be... I guess a little less formal. If it's somebody you don't know, you know, meet me for coffee or something. So if it goes bad, I can jet. There's no love lost. 
on either of our parts. There's not certain types of atmosphere at play. This is just me. But while she is talking about it's too soon, it's too soon for a lot of this shenanigans. But moving on. The Cheesecake Factory. Okay, well, look at, I mean, look at my plan, where we were gonna go. See, now that's, that's where, that's where we should have went. All right, right there. Call See, him, call him. No. No. What do you mean, no? See, I, I, I told you both yesterday and this morning that I'd come to pick you up at 4 a.m. At 4 p.m., right? Mm. And I got to your place at 4 p.m. You didn't even come downstairs for another hour. And so I was waiting downstairs I for an hour. Right? But I wasn't expecting for work to take me so long. I got home a little late. And like I said, I don't know you well enough to invite you up into my apartment. And that is not possible. And that's why I'm saying, I'm thinking, okay, if we're not there in a relationship to you know, meet at your apartment, then maybe we're not ready in a relationship for such a nice fancy uh, restaurant as Aria. Especially if I'm paying for the whole thing. Which I'm still willing to do. I, mean, I would have been. But if we're late, I mean, I told I mean, you we twice. It we literally left your place at the time the reservation was good. Okay. So, so wait a minute. What I'm gathering from what I just heard, what we established is that this man had made a reservation at a nicer, air quotes, nicer restaurant. And she made them late enough to miss said rest reservation. And I don't know about y'all, but last time I checked, if you are late, for a reservation and they're super super busy they gonna give your table away that's just what they're going to do so sounds like this guy picked the, the next best option that they knew that they could walk in and potentially get a table and for the record cheesecake factory some people don't like cheesecake factory for whatever reason but for the most part a lot of us do and that menu is so thick and so full that pretty much anybody can find something on the menu that they're going to enjoy. It's a good, safe choice. But what you're not about to do, I understand that, you know, I work, I always have, and sometimes stuff happens, life happens, or whatever the case may be, and you might be running a little bit late. First of all, give that person the courtesy of letting them know, but you can't be upset at that person for pivoting around your tardiness. So, yeah, bye. I specifically said four because maybe we could get there early and you have some time to get to know each other on the way there and while we're in the parking lot. I mean, I'm we, waiting for a reservation. We can still get to know each other. Isn't there another restaurant you can call that, like, you know, no. equivalent to that? I mean, I, I literally you don't understand. understand. <laughs> I cannot go in the cheesecake. Wow. There's nothing wrong I, with I will die. That's okay. embarrassing. Listen, I, as I said, I have <laughs> And I ain't gonna lie, no shade, like, that sounds, it's embarrassing, and I'll die, and I can't go inside the Cheesecake Factory. It sounds like something a 14-year-old will say, and I mean this with the most respect. This lady does not look like she's been 14 in a while. And I apologize, I'm not trying to mean girl this lady, I'm just saying, I'm a little aggravated. Uh, I can tell it's not gonna be there. I have, and maybe we're not right for each other. It's embarrassing. Listen, I, as I said, I have very specific <laughs> certain expectations. Uh, I can tell it's not gonna be there. I have, and maybe we're not right for each other. 
So respectfully, I'm gonna just drop you off at home. So, okay, here we are. You've laid out your expectations that this date or, or the way it's taking place is unacceptable. Fine, you're entitled to that. This man is, is responding in kind that this isn't going the way he expected either. And you're surprised at him for bowing out gracefully. I do declare. Yeah. So want to call it a night? What y'all gonna do? What are you... <laughs> what are y'all going to do? Um, do you expect him to, to call a million different restaurants until you um, are satisfied with them? What are y'all gonna do? Sit in the car, look at each other and play tiddly wings? I don't know. I mean, yeah. isn't there some kind of compromise or something? Uh, Ladies, can you believe this? I don't know this lady. She is not me. I am not her. Don't put that on us. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> uh, but... I, I, if I don't feel respected, I, I mean, um, not gonna go through I mean, the rest come of the day. I mean, you didn't want to sleep anyway, right? I mean, I mean, I understand that I was late. I understand that. I understand that I could have been a bit more cooperative. You had, you made some good points. That's why I'm willing to compromise. Are you sure you want to go home? Uh, I don't have a lot of rules. I don't have a lot of expectations for the first day, but I've already set them, and you've broken everyone. So, oh I'm sorry. All right, whatever. Well, I mean, I guess I, I understand. You gotta do what you gotta do. late you is rude and you is exasperating that's that's the summation of what this man was, was politely trying to say i have so many thoughts first of all um this is why i'm glad i ain't outside no more but this is what makes dating difficult for a lot of people men and women included there is absolutely nothing wrong absolutely nothing wrong with having standards and having expectations like for instance no woman should have to accept somebody wanting to netflix and chill on a first date we're not doing that we just we're not but i think it's unfair to have these ridiculous lofty often classist expectations that's not even a word i'm trying to look for here but just kind of some unrealistic expectations of where somebody should take you on a first date somebody that you don't even know well and they don't even know you and half the time the people that have these kind of ridiculous mantras are people that can't afford to even take themselves to these places something about the video right here reeks oh man i was looking for a free meal in an expensive restaurant and i'm not going to get that so no just no and really at the heart of it the dinner the date is not about the dinner the date is absolutely not about the dinner that's like the side course or the the dessert to the actual date the main course of a date is 
finding out more about that person, getting to know them, understanding if your values and the things that are important to you match enough to have a second date. You can establish that at Kane Prime. You can establish that at Eddie V's. You can establish that, you know, anywhere you go. You can establish that at Waffle House if, if you really want to be frank about it. But all this emphasis on where you took me and basically how much money you spent is kind of alarming because let me tell you something. Ah, sisters, your value, your worth is not tied to the number at the bottom of a receipt. And quite frankly, I think that this is kind of what sets some men up to feel like they can buy women. We all know those men that are out there that feel like because I have a little bit uh, of money, I've established myself, I can have whatever woman I want. I can just buy whatever she wants or spend a whole lot of money on her and I can treat her any kind of way that I want to because clearly the money is the most important thing to her. And as long as I give her that, then, you know, all bets are off. Or better yet, if I spend a copious amount of money on this woman that I take out, then I have the right to expect anything I want from her. And her value is so low that, you know, a hundred dollar a plate dinner is sufficient to buy that from her. That is an acceptable exchange to them. That is a fair trade and it is not, and it is wrong. And I think, I don't know, I'm kind of rambling here cause I have so many thoughts, but if we get back to this place where it's very clear that I'm not moved by a free dinner. I'm not moved by you dropping all this money and buying gifts and whining and dining. I'm moved by who you are. Then we might have either less of that or we as women will be able to cull through that quicker. Vice versa for fellas. I don't know how many men watch this channel. I do, it's not many, but we all have brothers, we have fathers, we have um, sons, a lot of us who will encounter this. And I want them to know that you don't have to put up with that. And that also, if you want a woman who has more substance beyond look at me and this is what I look like, then you're gonna have to do something different. People will kind of treat you the way you present yourself. If you present yourself as all I have to offer is money, you're probably gonna attract a, a, a woman that uses you as an ATM because that's all she knows you as. And, you know, you should absolutely court women. That's an expectation and that's mandatory, I would say. But the things she mentioned, like you're supposed to cover me. You're supposed to cover me. You're supposed to protect me. And all of those kinds of things. <laughs> Those are character traits and they present themselves in more ways than just you spending a whole lot of money at a restaurant that's 
probably subpar and mediocre and the service won't be that great and the portion is going to be like this big. I'm not saying they're all like that because me and my husband, we like to try new restaurants and we like to eat things at all price ranges. But, uh, yeah, those things are character traits that cannot be 100% adequately assessed by a dollar amount. I have a husband I've been blessed with that will give me anything I ask for and some more, but I don't treat him like he is a swipe, swipe, swipe credit card because I respect him as a human being. I love him and I see more value in him than monetary things. He protects me in so many other ways and covers me in so many other ways more important than money that I can make on my own. I had those things and could buy myself stuff and take myself places before I got married. I married my husband for the other things that he brought to the table that made my life more complete than that. Is it nice to have? Yes, but I think a lot of women miss some of those other things because their whole concentration is on what are you paying for? Like that stupid 50-50, I don't want to hear that no more. Y'all do what's best for you. Um, I just don't. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, get that off my screen away from me. But there's so much concentration on the monetary contribution that we pay less attention to what else a person has going for them. And on the flip side of this video, she's concentrated all on what she looks like, but never once does she talk about who she is as a person. And you can't concentrate so much on what a woman looks like that you discover that you are, she's rotten on the inside. So I think old dude dodged a bullet. Um, I hope that he went back and enjoyed a nasty old piece of um, uh, whatever, what's the one? I like the one that's like raspberry, that's got the lady fingers that's been soaked on the bottom. I can't remember the name of it, but I hope he got a big old plate of something to go um, for his troubles because yeah, no, no. I want to know what you all's thoughts are. I know that this is kind of a controversial topic that pops up in many different forms in many different ways all the time and I want to hear what the nieces have to say. I want to know what the aunties have to say. Y'all get in these comments and, and chop it up with me. Also, I want to thank you all because it seems like you all kind of watch these videos pretty well. And if you are interested in more of my kind of op-ed content, a lot of that writing wise lives on my blog. I've been more talking about this kind of subject matter over at MacTheMaverick.com. But if you want to see me engage more of this kind of topic on this channel, y'all let me know because I would love to. I just need to know that that's something you all want. So, YouTube should be recommending something else for you to watch uh, here in a second. If you want to hang out, feel free to check that out. If you've got to go, I understand, but do come back. And as always, do what you love. Love what you do, but love yourself too. And we'll be back to talk about something soon. Bye, y'all. Thank <laughs> you.